Okay, so first of all, I'm going to select the whole of the top row. Then I will click on Go to Special. Then I'll select just the blank cells and OK. Then I'll right click on one of these cells and go to Delete. And then I will delete the entire column and OK. And we have now deleted all of the blank columns. For the second method, I'm going to select the whole of the top row again, but this time I'm going to go to Find. Then I am going to find the words Error Bar, and I'll click on Find All. And this finds all of the cells that contain the words Error Bar. The first one is automatically selected. I'm going to hold down Shift and click on the bottom one. And now all of these cells are selected. I can now close this and then do the same thing we did before. So I'll right click and go to Delete. And then I'll delete the entire column and OK. And that deletes all of the error bar columns. I'm going to undo this so I can show you the next method. And this involves typing in the numbers 1 and 2. And then I'll click and drag this across. And then change this to copy cells. And now I have the numbers 1 and 2 repeating. And all of the mixing ratio columns are numbered 1. And all of the error bar columns are numbered 2. I'm also going to put a 1 in here, so the date column is also numbered 1. Then I'm going to press Ctrl A to select everything, and I'm going to go to Sort and Custom Sort. Then I'll go to Options, and I'll change the orientation to Sort Left to Right and OK. Then I will sort by row 1, which is the row that I just put all of the numbers into, and we'll be sorting from smallest to largest and OK. And this moves all of the mixing ratio columns to the left, as they all have the number 1, and it moves all of the error bar columns to the right, as they all have the number 2. And then I can just delete all of these. I'm now going to press Ctrl Z a few times to undo all of that. And now I'm going to number all of the columns going from 1 all of the way up to 13. And this time I'm going to use a formula. So I'll type in equals choose columns. And then the array that I'm going to select is going to be the whole of the table. Then I need to tell it the numbers of the columns that I want it to choose. So for the time being, I'm going to type in 1 and 2 and 4 and close brackets and enter. And this gets me the date column and then the first two mixing ratio columns. To get all of the mixing ratio columns, I need it to choose all of the even numbers. And in order to get a sequence of numbers that looks like that, I'm going to use a sequence formula. For the number of rows, I want just one row. Then for the number of columns, this needs to be the total number of columns in the table, which is 13, minus 1, because I'm not including the date column, so that gets me to 12. Then I need half of whatever that number is, because I only want every other column. And 12 divided by 2 is 6, so I want 6 columns. Then I want the start to be 2, and I want the step to be 2, as I want the numbers to increase by 2 each time. And then close brackets and enter. And this gets me a sequence of numbers going from 2 to 12. I'm now going to copy this. Press Escape to get out of that cell, and then delete that and go back to the Choose Columns formula. And then I will paste in the sequence part, 
to replace all of these numbers and then press enter and that gets me all of the mixing ratio columns. I also want to have the date column in here and that's the first column so I'm going to type in the number one just in front of the sequence part and then enter and that gets me the date column along with all of the mixing ratio columns. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you four different methods for removing every other column in Excel, and that is everything.